right, good afternoon, students. Today we are looking at uh, electoral process. And under the electoral process, we are looking at the concept tag election. Now, whenever they say election, to many students, they see election as an act of choosing representatives. And this has come beyond an act of choosing representatives. We can see election as the concept of what change. What are we changing? We are changing what is referred to as the government. Changing the government, if you are to change the government, we all know that changing of government is not done every day, it's not done every week. The changing of government is done periodically. So this made election to be what now? Periodical. We can tell ourselves this fact that what? Election goes beyond the act of choosing representatives. We see election as an what? A process or a change of government. So what is now the real meaning? We say election can be seen as the periodical change of government in a democratic society. That is to tell us that what? Election only takes place within democratic society, democratic environment. That is the only place where election takes place. In the military rule, there is nothing called election. The only thing that takes place in the military rule is referred to as coup d'etat. That is the only thing that takes place in the military rule. But in the democratic setting where civilian rule the people or the subjects, what takes place is referred to as election. So that is why we say election is the concept of what? Change. Change of government periodically. That is to tell you that any democratic society without election is just like a car without an engine. That is what we should understand. We can also say election is a tool or election is an instrument that is used to correct the errors of the previous administration. That is the concept of election. That is to tell you that election is also what? A tool. Election is apparatus that we use to correct errors made by the previous administration. That is the concept of election. Now, if you want to look at this, we have series of types of what? Election. That is, typologies of election. We have what is referred to as the direct election. We have what is called the indirect election. We have the what? The primary election. We have the runoff election, or you can tag it to be second balloting. That is a concept of what now? This type of election. Then we also what is have what is called what? Now we have the referendum and the what? The plebiscite. Referendum and plebiscite. As a type of what? Election. We also have what is referred to as the by election. That is a concept of what? Of all this. Now this now we say direct election. Anything that is direct. That says to be what in nature in this context it is general. So we can tell ourselves that what general election is also referred to as what direct election. This type of election is meant for everybody in the country. Everybody in the country are the one that conducts this type of what election. Now, if you check example of this type of what election, we have presidential election. We have what? Senatorial election. We have gubernatorial election. All of these are examples of direct or general election. Nigeria, as a country, we've conducted a series of general elections in the history of the country. Started from 1923. This was the first year in the history of Nigeria to conduct the general election. 1923. 1928 is the second, 1933, 1938, 1945, 1951, 1959, 1964, 1979, 1983, 1993, 1999, 2003, 2007, 2011, 2015, 2019. These are the series of general elections conducted in the history of Nigeria. So that is the concept of direct election. The second type of election is referred to as what? Indirect. You know, we said 
direct election is for everybody. Then we can tell ourselves categorically that indirect election is not meant for everybody. Indirect election is meant for selected or targeted population. Selected or targeted population. That is to tell you that it is not everybody that comes to vote in this type of election. That is the concept of what? Indirect election. Example of indirect election is what? By election. By election is example of indirect election. Let us take for instance now. What is by election? By election is a type of election conducted when a what? A member of the parliament resigned or due to debt. That is to tell you that by election can take place when a member of what? The parliament. This tells us that by election can only take place in the legislative branch of government. We don't have by election in the executive branch. That is to tell you that the head of executive is the president. Now, it is constitutional that if a president dies, no election shall be conducted according to Nigerian constitution, stated from section 140 that if a president dies, who shall become the president is the word the vice president. Now, take for instance, when what Yanadra died, Yanadra died on the 5th of May 2010 on Wednesday at exactly 7.43 p.m. That was when Yanadra died. Then on Thursday on the 6th of May 2010, Jonathan became the president, not acting president of Nigeria. He became the president and not acting president. Jonathan had been acting president before the dismissal of Yaradua, that is late Yaradua. He became the acting president April 11, 2010, and eventually became the president on the 6th of what? May 2010, on Thursday at exactly what? 8 a.m. That was the concept. So if we have this kind of situation, if a president dies, the vice president shall become the president. If the vice president also dies, the next person is the Senate president. If the Senate president also dies, the sen what next person is what now? Honorable Speaker. If the Honorable Speaker also dies, the next person is what? The CJN. Now, the, these are the five sets of individual that becomes the what? The president of the country. And if all these five persons die, the next person to be the president is what? Ijoba. So you should pray that what? I should not die. Because if I die, something happens to what? To the country. That's the concept of this. So this one tells us, example of indirect election, that is, by election is example of indirect election. The by election tells us that is to be conducted due to deaths or resignation of members of the world, the parliament. Take for instance now, let us give ourselves outstanding example. A senator died yesterday. He died of what brief illness. That is what now, the senator representing Lagos East, that is what senator uh, Adebayo Shino, that was the person that died. Now, how do we now choose a representative to what to occupy the seat of this person? There shall be election that will be conducted. Now, that election that will be conducted will be conducted within the constituency of the world, the dismissed senator, which is what? Let senator what now? Oshino. So we'll go to what? To the constituency. Election shall be conducted to fill the vacant seats. This is to tell us that what now? We have what now? To put a principal to that position. It is not for everybody. That is what to tell you that the election will not affect people at the Lagos Central constituency. It will not affect people at what? Lagos West constituency. The election shall only take place within the what? The situation where we have what now problem what type of election is that we'll call that election by election so that is to tell you that by election is conducted to fill a what a vacancy the next type of election is what primary election this is known to everybody primary election is a type of election that is conducted within a political party that is the concept of primary election so if apc is conducting its primary election it will not affect what PDP or it will not affect what Abga. That is to tell you that what this is what example of what is referred to as primary what sorry primary election and it's example of indirect election. That is a concept of what of this. 
Then we have another called runoff. This runoff election, at times when I hear the situations in the country, I always would laugh at times. The country has changed runoff to what is referred as what really run. I have not seen where rerun has happened anywhere in the world before. What I know is what runoff. So what is runoff? Runoff election is a type of election conducted when no candidate or when no winner was declared or when no candidate was declared a winner in the first balloting. That is, when we don't have a winner in the first balloting, what we are going to do is what? We still conduct another election. That election we are conducting will be for the best two or best three. According to philosophers, they go with what? Best three. Let us take this as example, or let us take this as a case study. We have what? Candidate A, candidate B, candidate C, and candidate D. If we have candidate A, let's say candidate A scored 50 votes, candidate B scored 30 votes, candidate D, C scored 20 votes, then D scores what? 50 votes. In this situation, we don't have a winner because two persons cannot become the president of the country. Then what happened in this situation is what? We are to conduct another election. So the election we are conducting is referred to as what? Second balloting. So second balloting is referred to as what? Runoff. So this type of election is not conducted when no candidate was declared in the first ballot. This, we have a lot to give on this aspect. Whether it is government, whether it is commerce, whether it is economics, math and English physics. I just want to urge you students to subscribe so that we can get more of this. We want to help ourselves. Thank you. I remain my humble self. Ijoba. Thanks.